the thud, legendary airplane, and you think of fraternities of people that flew aircraft, those swordfish guys in the Ar you know, Royal Navy and stuff, and uh, yeah, name one. This particular airplane, I have the utmost respect for our airmen in Vietnam that flew it and maintained it. I've met quite a few, and, and shout out to all those guys. Vic Viscara, all you guys, uh, big fan. You can see here the thud came out, and these are a geopolitical statement as well as a you know aerospace statement where we were technology technology wise in the mid 50s. And if you look here, the, the thud's got a 20 foot bomb bay to carry a nuke. So we realized at this time, you know, hey, we can't fly mass bomber formations over Russia anymore. So you know, I can imagine doing a labs toss, you know, dropping a nuke and getting the heck out of Dodge. And I talked about Larry Huggins. He flew in Vietnam, both uh, D's and Weasels. And uh, he flew the nuclear mission. And it's like, okay, you got enough gas to drop the bomb, and good luck after that. Uh, several things of interest. There's not a bad angle on this airplane. It's beautiful. That's why when Craig and I were talking about an Air Force bird, we wanted to get a thud. So as you can see here, Richard Whitcomb at the NACA pinched the fuselage in, which uh, made the airplane more slippery going through transonic mock. And these birds are legendary in Vietnam for egressing out on the deck and phantom guys up above at 20, 30,000 feet going, slow down. And they're like, you come down here, slow down. But this particular airframe, they made 15 pre-production aircraft under the Cook Craggy plan. This is number nine. And this airplane was a climatic bird. That's why you have the Arctic paint on the tail, as you did with the 102s, the deuces based up there, everything else. So if you, know, if you go down in the snow, they're usually the spot. This airplane went from Ladfield, Alaska, to Eglin, to the McKinley uh, hangar, where they simulate cold and hot weather, and set two records for endurance and speed and nonstop from Ladfield. I think Billy White was the guy that did it. And uh, anyway, again, make the comments, look that up. There's a little YouTube video. But you talk about an honor to have an airplane here, and this thing oozes uh, character. And just, you know, knowing the heritage of the aircraft, two Medal of Honor winners in the uh, in the weasel roll, which it was the first uh, really effective weasel. They had the F-100F, but it was a little slow. So when they came out of Vietnam, you know, you're not going to wait around for somebody. And the thud or the Hun guys are back there trying to keep up. And, you know, and shout out to the uh, good grief. I've slept since then to the first uh, Sam side killer in the F-100. So uh, I can't think of his name right now. But anyway, you look him up. That's what this is for. Do a little research to learn. It's great. And it's about the people. And love the thud.